Well, this old Chevy's frame, it's seen better days. It's uh, it's broken just by a bit. Well, you know, when we're trying to dig it out, the camera broke, but uh, we had to dig it out of the ground. It was starting to return to the uh, earth <laughs> and uh, the roots were clinging to it, looking for water, looking to uh, break it down. <laughs> But anyways, we uh, kept working at it, we fought it, and we got dug out. But let's uh, get this old Chevy restored on a $5 budget. Best jack I know of. Just gotta gently lift it up. With the touch of a hand. It's like sending a text by cell phone, email, whatever. Easy, easy. Whoopsie. Yeah, what you want to do, just have that the opposite of what it was, and then that way when you bolt it back together, It'll hopefully be like level, like factory. So be really careful, block it up, and stand back, and wait a couple days, and make sure it doesn't go anywhere before you continue doing the work safely. Well, we gotta fix that gas tank. Get this 100% uh, uh, working order, up to factory conditions, and if not, better. So before you start this project, you want to just check the frame real good. Yeah, don't worry about all that scaly rust there. That's not a big concern. Just uh, keep looking at it and poking at it and hit it with a hammer. If you at least find one shiny spot on the whole frame, it's worth uh, it's worth fixing. <laughs> so, there you go. I found one spot that was shiny. So regardless of all the holes and how it's cracked and bent and whatnot, we're gonna fix this thing up. Well, this truck is above average for the uh, salt belt. It's worth fixing. Just has a few minor cracks there in the frame. It'll be all right. Maybe, hopefully. What do you think? So what you're gonna need, grab yourself some two by fours Slap it on the old frame. And things you want to look for is every time you cl climb underneath, you get a shower of rust. You know you got a good one, it's worth fixing. Well, we want to make sure we get everything good and tight. Do a real good job to the best of our abilities. Make this old truck better new. Well, this truck has the uh, lots of weight reduction there from the factories. Oh yeah, that's gonna be awesome, you know. Just gotta clean out the frame, you know, there's just a little bit of mud in there and rust particles there over the years just hanging in there. We gotta get that all cleaned up so then that way she's nice and light, ready for the big race of some sort. Just a little more flakage of rust. Well, we're gonna put some extra reinforcement in as that there. Needs a little extra help, so special occasion. We're using a piece of hard maple there. Oh yeah, just And this project is a perfect opportunity just to grab random things and just ram it all together and help clean up the hoard at the same time. So that way you can help you reorganize your hoard and be more efficient for the next project. All right, let's carry on. And with uh, well planning, you can use the uh, factory holes so you save uh, some drilling time. Just something to keep in your uh, your blueprints. 
Just a big old sandwich there. Well, first you want to start off, you want to make sure you got some kind of solidness left in the box. Because this is a little secret here. This is why they have uh, roll bars. It's to help tie your cab and frame together and make it solid. So that way you're ready for like the Baja races across the desert. Just a little secret of my theory on uh, why they have roll bars. So that way there's integrity left in the truck. So you know you got a good truck when you got wood floor in the box. Yeah. Yeah, there's a little bit left. We got something there to work with. Don't be chintzy. Put in lots of nuts and bolts and washers and keep going to it looks like a porcupine. Then you know you did a good job. And just grab every random screw. And make sure it's real good. Well, now we're going to put a piece here. That'll help seal the deal, help cap it off, help uh, hide the ugly. Well, I think I'm making some progress now. We're getting there. Just got to put a couple hundred more screws and bolts into this and then I think it's finished. We're good enough for today. Well, I gave up on that dream of uh, keeping the gas tank in the factory spot. So uh, I think NASA would be uh, very proud of this. You know, it's like, uh, it's not too spaghetti-o, but uh, it's nice. And then the tank is there and uh, you know there's never going to be any water in your fuel because it's in the cab, nice and dry. You know, it's perfect. You know, when you're, you just got to give it a little tap and you don't know exactly how much gas is in it. Nice thing about this pickup truck, it's got some foliage growing on it. So then that way it... Uh, it's environmental friendly, this pickup truck. And we're going to make this uh, high-end custom fit here. Make sure it fits real good. real high end well it's coming along it's a thing of beauty it just takes time be patient y'all so right from the factory see they had everything all pre-planned out for you that uh, mounting bracket there for the uh, leaf springs look at that it's a perfect uh, fit for your frame tying to your roll bars so see right from the factory they already had it planned out for you so you might as well jump on board and get her done well now we got it solidly mounted just check out that awesome craftsmanship we just got to keep uh, pouring the screws and nuts and bolts to it we'll get it done there we go and this is gonna seal the deal get an extra gusset in there and make it good as better than factory ah we won't worry about that well, other than we got to change the oil, it's ready for uh, a big trip. Ah, maybe you don't want to take me serious. So, just check out that body line now. So now it's kind of like those low boy heavy equipment trailers. You get a little bit of load on it and it'll be perfect level. So there you go. Success. Well, thanks for watching today's video. If you made it this far, awesome. But yeah. This is highly recommended not to uh, do this frame repair if you're going down like the I-75, the Autobahn, any 400 series highways, just any highway in general. So thanks for watching today's video. Thanks for not getting bent out of shape. Cheers.